let us take the next heading which is called as kinematic chain now what is kinematic chain kinematic chain is a combination of kinematic pairs joined in such a way that each kinematic link forms two kinematic pairs having completely or successfully constrained motion between them so here i have written the definition of kinematic chain kinematic chain it is defined as a combination of kinematic pairs we know that kinematic pairs are the connection of more than one kinematic link if we are connecting more than one kinematic link then it is called as kinematic pair and kinematic chain is a combination of kinematic pairs joined in such a way that each kinematic link forms two kinematic pairs having completely or successfully constrained motion between them it means in kinematic chain there will always be motion present kinematic chain is not a rigid structure it is not a fixed structure kinematic chain will move because each link it is connected when it is connected to two separate links they form two kinematic pairs like for example if we are having this pen as a link and we are connecting them for example these two pen they form one kinematic pair and they are joined in such a way that the motion is completely or successfully constrained means the motion should not be incompletely constrained for example if i am connecting these two pens this link it can rotate about the fixed point next in case of kinematic chain the definition is it is a combination of kinematic pairs joined in such a way that each kinematic link forms two kinematic pairs for example if i consider this pen to be one kinematic link then this link is connected to two other links so that we have two kinematic pairs like the the pen which i have in my left hand and the pen which is red in color both of them they form one kinematic pair that is each link is forming two one kinematic pair here next the pen in my right hand if i am connecting it another to the red pen then i can see that the red pen is forming two kinematic pairs with each of the pen in my right and left hand so this is an example of a kinematic chain then again these two links that is these two black pen they would in turn be connected with another links so this goes on multiplying so we can say that kinematic chain is a combination of kinematic pairs joined in such a way that each one kinematic link will form two kinematic pairs and they have completely or successfully constrained motion means the motion is not incompletely constrained it should be completely constrained that is the motion should be only in one of the directions that is either it should be rotation or it should be translation it should not be both it means it is completely or successfully constrained motion next in case of kinematic chain it has no fixed link a kinematic chain it does not have any of the fixed link it means all the links they are subjected to motion now let me give you all one formula to check if the structure is a kinematic chain or not the formula is given by it is l is equal to 2p minus 
where L indicates number of links and links are individual parts or we can say those parts which do not have any joints in between them P indicates number of kinematic pairs so now if a structure is given or a kinematic chain is given and if we have to check that if it is a kinematic chain or a structure or some other mechanism then we need to use this formula where L indicates the number of links P indicates the number of kinematic pairs if left hand side is equal to right hand side then we can say that the given chain is a kinematic chain so this is the formula to check if a given chain is kinematic or not next we have one more formula it is related to the number of joints so j is equal to 3 by 2 into l minus 2 now in this formula i have j as the number of joints and small l it indicates the number of links so now even by using this formula if i have the number of joints if i have number of links and left hand side is equal to right hand side then we can say that the given chain is a kinematic chain so first of all with this article we have understood that kinematic chain it is a combination of kinematic pairs and what are kinematic pairs kinematic pairs are those connection in which we have more than one link which are connected to one another so when you have combination of such kinematic pairs then it becomes a kinematic chain and the condition is one link should form two kinematic pairs and the motion between them they should be completely or successfully constrained next we have seen in case of kinematic chain that no links that is we can say that no link in a kinematic chain it should be fixed each link will have some motion then to check whether the given chain is a kinematic chain or not we have two formulas one is related to links and number of kinematic pairs other is related to the joints and number of links from both these formula we can check that if a given chain is a kinematic chain or not so this was regarding the kinematic chain now let us solve some simple problems related to if a given chain is a kinematic chain or not so i'll write the first example here it is just related to a kinematic chain the first example example number one where we have a triangle where we have first link second link and third link now we have to check that if it is a kinematic chain or not so how we can check this first of all here i'll say that since we have three links so small l it is equal to three next we have one two and three joints so j is equal to three next link one is connected to two and link three so the connection between link one and link two it is forming one kinematic pair then link one and link three it is forming the other kinematic pair so here i can say that in this example we have each of the link each of the link they are forming two kinematic pairs so next we can say that since we have three links here these three links they are going to form six kinematic pairs so therefore we can say that the formula which we have l is equal to 2p minus 4 so from this we can say that l is 3 is equal to 2 into p that is 2 into 6 minus 4 so therefore 3 is equal to this is 8 so here i am getting the value of left hand side is it is less than right hand side so when we have left hand side less than right hand side we can say that it is incompletely constrained motion therefore it is called as 
incompletely constrained chain let us take the second example now we have another example in which we have four links so l is equal to 4 next we have four joints j is equal to 4 and kinematic pairs between 1 and 2 we have one pair between 1 and 4 we have second pair between 3 4 we have third pair and between 2 3 we have fourth pair so number of pairs are 4 therefore i'll use the formula l is equal to 2p minus 4 therefore l is equal to 4 2p it is 2 into 4 minus 4 so therefore here 4 is equal to 4 next i'll use another formula that is for the number of joints and that formula is j is equal to 3 by 2 of l minus it is 2 so therefore j is equal to 4 3 by 2 of 4 minus 2 from this if i calculate here also left hand side is equal to right hand side so i can say that since left hand side is equal to right hand side therefore given chain is a kinematic chain it means motion is possible here we are having kinematic chain and this is not a structure it means this kinematic chain will have motion Next, another example. This example if is of a pentagon structure and we have to say that if it is a kinematic chain or not. As we can see here, we have five links. So L is equal to five. Next, we have five joints and between 1 and 2 we have one pair 2 and 3 second pair 3 and 4 third pair fourth and fifth fourth pair and fifth and one five pair so in total p is equal to five five kinematic pairs are there next here i can say that since l is equal to it is 2p minus 4 therefore l is equal to 5 2 into p is 5 minus 4 so therefore here we are having the value as 5 and this value comes out to be it is 6 so here we are getting this value as 6 so hence we can say that left hand side is less than right hand side next using the joint formula j is equal to 3 by 2 of l minus 2 therefore j is 5 3 by 2 of l is 5 minus 2 so therefore this value is here i have 5 and this value is 5.5 .5 on the right hand side so again right hand side is greater so i can see that here also lhs is less than rhs if the right hand side is greater then this example it becomes of an incompletely constrained chain so here we can say that therefore the given chain is of incompletely constrained type that is we have an incompletely constrained chain here and it is proven with the help of the calculations which we have done here